Hello to you and welcome to Land of Reiki and Aroma channel. So today we have an interview with Maggie Evans about the work of uh, Dr. Edouard Ba and the 38 Remedies. Stay with us, we are going to just start. <laughs> so welcome to land or rake in aroma good morning good afternoon or good evening and uh, no matter what time or in the world that you are and uh, welcome to one more episode uh, here bring uh, our new guest uh, first time that Maggie Evans is coming to talk with us about uh, batch flower remedies so, Maggie, thank you very much for coming here and uh, please introduce yourself. Tell me a little bit about you. It's Spice, I know that a long time, I don't know how many years, but it's like quite more than five. <laughs> uh, as my teacher of um, Batch Flower Remedies, so please introduce yourself. Well, thank you for inviting me. main career um, but along the way I, I did get involved in therapies and um, trained in various things and of course one of which was the, the batch flower remedies um, and so that has become something that has been it's a real passion for me the flower remedies um, in almost 40 years of using the batch flower remedies I they never cease to amaze me how, how they work. And um, they have certainly seen me through very, very difficult times. They, uh, they often work very subtly, um, but, but very effectively. And they've come to be like, they're always there when I need them. Mm -hmm. and so, um, and more recently, I've um, I can't hear you. Oh. Ah, now it's it's okay. Yes. And um, so, in recent years, I've been focusing on teaching the batch flower remedies. Obviously, soul you. Me in, in a nutshell, I would say. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I will start with some question that I uh, we discussed early on. So why botch flower remedies? Uh, so I would like a little bit for why you choose botch flower remedy was something that uh, came across for you through who or which situation or. Uh, this is that because uh, in UK we know that batch flower remedies just by so, so long time ago that Dr. Ba developed the system and find and did his research and everything um, is so well known outside UK from Brazil for example and when you talk about batch flower everybody 
majority of the people knows about it. And it's very in interesting that in here, the, the country that he born that is not so known. Um, so, first of all, why the batch flower images for me? Um, I think I touched on that just, just now. Um, but often what happens, or initially what happens, when when people are first introduced to the remedies, it's usually through rescue remedy, mm -hmm. uh, which is the five uh, flowers that Dr. Book, Batch put together as the sort of And this is exactly what happened to me. Um, somebody reached out to me who I who I didn't know. Um, it was in a work situation, and I was going through a very very difficult time. And they reached out to me, rescue remedy. And starts at the emotional level. And that disease, physical disease, is like the end point. Mm -hmm. So if if we if we experience negative emotions and stress and we don't address those issues and they allow to continue, then eventually they will manifest as physical illness. Mm -hmm. And of course, we we do realise this now in even in mainstream medicine, there's a lot of doctors that will say, yes, you know, the mind, the emotions affect the body. It's this whole idea of mind body me medicine. So, and, you know, a lot of disease is stress related. And, you know, a lot of doctors will admit to that. Um, and often what happens is that we we get these layers of emotional baggage that build up over our lifetime so think you know our emotions get suppressed and with all the different situations and experiences that we have in life um affects us emotionally but you know we we just sort of like suppress it and get on with life and um nothing really ever gets resolved um so what the batch flower remedies do is they can help to um, unpeel those those layers of baggage if we work, you know, more in the long time, long term with the flower remedies. Um, and, you know, eventually we, 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 we uncover all of those layers. And as the process goes, we learn from all of those um, unraveling of those layers and what the result is that we get to know ourselves better yeah actually um it helps us to move on in life and achieve our potential and dr batch felt that we all had unique skills and qualities um that we should harness to reach our full potential in life but life gets in the way with all its all its emotional stuff um so if we can take remedies that are um, dealing with that emotional level, um, then it has a, a knock on effect to our physical health as well. So that that's one aspect of um, the flower remedies that we treat um, at the emotional level and we always treat the person, not the disease. Um, we always choose remedies according to the individual's um, emotions that they are experiencing right now. Mm -hmm. So we always focus on the remedies that have come up and we do that by matching the remedies to the emotions. Um, and if we do that, well then that will un unpeel that, that layer that's presenting now and then after a period of time when that has been resolved, then other things will come to the surface. And then we give a different lot of remedies and so on and so forth. So we always treat the person, not the disease. We don't focus on the person's uh, physical complaints or their situation that they're in. Um, it's just how they're feeling. Um, you know, people's situations may differ, um, but their emotional responses are going to be consistent over time. A lot of people say, well, you know, that was all right in Dr. Batch's day, 
um, but is it relevant now? Of and course. of course, you know, the people were experiencing different things um, and will be, you know, suffering from different diseases. But the way that they respond emotionally is yes. exactly the if same. If someone and, is a, a full of resentment, is, yes. that's it, you know, is yes, uh, real and that's it, finito. <laughs> So, um, so that's the answer to that with, you know, a lot of skeptics that will often try and uh, think, oh, well, you know, they're, they're not, they're not relevant today. Um, I think the other important part of Dr. Batchy's philosophy, which I always um, harp on about whenever I'm talking about them, is this whole aspect of simplicity, um, that everything in nature is simple. And uh, this is what Dr. Batch really, really harnessed in his flower remedies, because everything about the flower remedies is simple. Like I said, we just match our mood to the remedies that we need um, and the remedies will do the rest. Um, they're easy to take. They're just drops in water or in our drinks uh, just a few times a day. And um, this is what Dr. Batch wanted. He wanted a really simple system that everybody could use. You know, anybody can go and pick up a leaflet about the flower remedies or look online and read and learn about the remedies there and start taking them. It's as simple as that. And um, so simplicity, I think, is one of the key things about Dr. Batch's um, is philosophy that everybody can use them. Yes, as I remember when I first came across with uh, Dr. Ba, um, was in 1992, a long time too, and I came as a client in Brazil, and and I was like, oh my God, really, I can go over there and choose what I need in terms of emotion. This was give it to us like a freedom to to really uh, look inside us and say oh my god i feel impatient today i i am um uh i don't know what route of my life i'm going or i i want a cuddle or i feel depressed or whatever which one will be uh, give it to you in my point of view as as a, like a feeling of a freedom that i can um, sort out things um by myself in such a simple way yes yeah yeah this whole idea of it being a self-help remedy um system of remedies you know so um so although you know there are practitioners to help us out along the way um but really just learning about them and using them yourself is the best way ever yes you know? yeah uh, the role of the, the, the practitioner is always when you are not, you can't see or you would like to go more deep and you need somebody else, somewhere to clarify so that the, the practitioner come in that way. You know? But uh, when you are like, I know what I feel, you go over there and do it. But say, I know I would like to explore more this, so I need a hand. I need somebody else that has more knowledge about the yeah. song and the practitioner comes. You know? So, uh, as a batch a flower practitioner, it's very important the studies and research. And I had opportunity to attend uh, a workshop with you. Uh, uh, now, my God, now it's too. It's ridiculous with the time. Oh, uh, years ago, would it be? I, I think so. It's ridiculous, Maggie. It's ridiculous that the <laughs> the pandemic cut our time uh, span yeah. uh, that, like a there is a gap in it that was yeah, uh, yeah. is is like a before and after COVID. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous ridiculous and, uh, <laughs> oh, so dear. four years ago i had opportunity to attend this workshop with you ne? and uh, and you present uh, your studies about flower essence and um, can you share a little bit with us uh, Yes, uh, about it. it's uh, it's quite a vast subject, but I'll try and sort of um, 
you know, sort of put it into a bit of a nutshell. Um, it's, yes, I, I was studying mind-body medicine as part of um, some studying I was doing at the time. And, um, but often what I used to find um, with working within um, the NHS, etc., cetera, uh, was skeptical colleagues would always question me um, because again, like we said earlier, it doesn't fit into kind of uh, medical science or anything like that. And so often they would ask me, how did the batch flower and these work then? Show us, you know, um, where's the research and all this business? And of course, I, I didn't have anything that I could really kind of uh, give to them that w would convince them, if you like. Um, you know, the flower images don't fit into their methodology at all. And so when I was studying mind-body medicine, um, I took it upon myself as this sort of like quest um, to try and find something that would explain um, how the batch flower images worked in a, in a format that they would find acceptable, if you like. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, this is just my my particular research, and we still don't know exactly for sure how the batch flower images do work. Um, but a lot of this made sense to me, and um, so it, it's just what I put together as part of my 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 sort of studies. Um, so as I see it, the the main the main points about Dr. Batch's remedies is that he used all the elements from nature. Um, so water, the earth, he used sunlight to potentize his remedies, and he used flowers. And all of the flowers that he used were non-toxic. Um, obviously, he he chose earth. And, um, he chose the plants and that from places where he felt the earth was was of, of good quality um, and he used the sunlight to potentize the remedies and he used pure water um, to put his remedies as the as the medium for for the remedies um, and so when I when I researched a lot of this um, it was in um, quantum science which we meant you mentioned earlier that I found a lot of the answers that I was looking for and so um, in the quantum science they've done such a lot of research and uh, so all living things everything that is living on the planet um, exists through vibration so it, we don't live in a solid world everything is vibration and this is getting away from the Newtonian science that you mentioned earlier. Um, the, when we get into the quantum field uh, or the zero point field, then it it's, it's makes everything m much easier and more um, able to interact and exist. So every single cell, even the simplest form of life, the amoeba or, or whatever, um, light, sound, the earth, water, etc. They all have a vibration that we all resonate with. All of us that are living resonate with um, vibration. We also share the same basic components of life, such as carbon and nitrogen. We're all made up of the same, um, the same basic components. And our DNA we share with each other, with all living things, but it's just arranged very differently. That's all. That's what gives, um, you know, people, animals and all that, their, their different signatures. And uh, what I did find out was that the lily pad, you know, that grows in, that's in the water, um, its DNA is 10 times more um, uh more complex than what, what our DNA is. Um, so, you know, that's that's the, the beauty of, of life. You know, it manifests all sorts of beautiful different things. Um, and 
we share the same elements in nature, you know, um, water and, you know, we need sunlight to exist and all that kind of thing. So if we look at some of these things, um, what they found out about water is that water is a great conductor of data. So whatever you put into water, it holds as a memory. It sort of stores that um, in its molecules and um, retains that data or that knowledge or information that goes into water. So, you know, there was that uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Masuru Emoto. Uh, 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 yes, Mas Masaru Emoto. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can never pronounce his name correctly. And he did a lot of research on water crystals. And, um, you know, if you were talking to them in a very aggressive way, the crystals formed that formed were very irregular and, and ugly looking. Whereas if you said something like, I love you, the crystals that were formed were absolutely beautiful. Um, so that's just one of the studies that I looked into, but there are lots and lots of others where, um, and scientists always choose the purest water for their research and for their, for their laboratory um, experiments. Why do they do that? Because they know, you know, that using dirty water would not fit very well. Mm -hmm. So water is um, such an important element of nature. It is really, really important. And we tend to kind of just um, overlook it really in, in everyday life. So that's one important thing. Dr. Batch used the remedies and used water as his sort of main um, medium for you for putting the remedies in. Um, I've mentioned about sunlight. Sunlight is important to all health. And um, actually, when you look into it, we have a small amount of ultraviolet light in all of our cells in the body. And um, they, they act as a conductor of incoming data. So all the information that's flooding our body everything that's going on around us, our bodies are being flooded with information and that reaches every single cell of our body. It's not just in our brain, mm -hmm. it's, you know, our body is flowing through with, with intelligence, if you like. Um, and so that enables every cell is capable of communication and it interacts with the whole. So that's the kind of purpose of sunlight and the light within within us. We are beings of light, really. Yes, and uh, we can see that how in Porto, for example, as we are in the winter, uh, how the people start to behave like uh, strange many times without the sunlight, like a full sunlight. We are yeah. like flowers and we need to go over there. We can see how the flower is moving, try to to search the, the, the sun eh? and how yes. the vitamin C that is not is, uh, is sunlight vitamin C sorry <laughs> vitamin, D, <yeah. laughs> vitamin D no vitamin C sorry uh, vitamin D is so important uh, is like a is a main ingredient otherwise our body doesn't function uh, well neither yeah yeah so um so the way the way that I kind of concluded um, you know, how I could explain this in, in quantum science terms is that because um, the, re the remedies um, share all this same elements of nature that we are made up of, um, then the, that creates synchronicity. So when we take, take the remedies in, our body can perfectly accept those remedies because there's nothing toxic, um, they completely resonate, um, you know, with, with those flower remedies because they're, you know, there's nothing that's foreign mm -hmm. to our, nothing that our body can reject. And it, it just, it's like a lock and key at cellular level. Mm -hmm. so it's like, oh, that's, that's just going to fit into there perfectly. Mm -hmm. And then obviously the remedies will just do their work magically. 
So there's no artificial drugs or chemicals that we're putting into our body. Um, and there is this perfect um, emotional and physical resonance, um, which works with our own body intelligence. Uh, you know, our bodies are very intelligent beings, like I said, you know, we've got we've got all that sun, all that ultraviolet light there that is transmitting all this intelligence throughout our body. And so then that initiates the self healing um, aspect of what our body is capable of doing. You know, and this is um, this whole idea of how the remedies work is called vibrational medicine. OK, that it works within a vibrational model, you know, not a medical, uh, not a medical model. Mm -hmm. um, so I hope that explains some of it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, include because uh, 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 complement what I uh, say early on that the mo the Newton model uh, of uh, looking the physical body and the physicality of anything explains certain laws, yeah. like uh, type of uh, when one car come and uh, come from each other will be. Uh, at the speed of both and the uh, crashes and we have so in that matter it's perfect it's not something no i'm going through away everything that newton did no it's not that way he is uh ad going um he start one process and you need to update according to our knowledge until you you see that uh, uh what we need exactly is a uh, energy medicine is a yeah. vibration medicine. So we yeah. need to take energy, <laughs> a type of energy to help our body, help the body restore their, its own balance more, yes. more natural. No, because in the end, when we took any kind of um, chemical um, frozen. Oh, you froze there. Uh, frozen. Uh, the connection uh, dropped a little bit. I return here. So yeah. as I'm saying, when the if you take uh, something like uh, energetic or vibration medicine will be uh, more uh, suitable for the way that we are built yes. as a being. Yeah, because I always say, you know, like you were saying about the Newtonian physics, you can you can measure something from A to B and how many miles it's done or or whatever. But um, if I were to say to you, if I were just to say a word like rose, immediately you will be able to picture a rose in your in your in your mind. Well, how does that happen? How can we measure that? Um, exactly. And that is energetic or vibrational um, medicine uh, and and you know we have to have a different model in the way that we can um, explain that yeah um, explain and understand better this stuff you know, that is always is a, a process that doesn't have something wrong or right uh, let me put everything in the in the being but also is is a is a walking uh, is a walking process in terms to accept to be more open mind for people like uh, Dr. Ba with what would be the science without uh, Einstein in his mad way to be. We need mad people. It's, yes, yes. And uh, Dr. Batch was often considered to be a bit mad. So yes. <laughs> it fits into the same category. <laughs> If it wasn't for them, we'd we'd never be any we'd never get anywhere, would we? We'd never move. No, on. no, no. Be too like uh, <laughs> too square and uh, de, 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 it would be too rigid. And uh, we yes. know that uh, we need flexibility in everything. Otherwise, we will be break. So, what yes. is the point? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The point. But anyway, it was lovely to have you in here to answer these few questions. Uh, I hope to have you in another times. Uh, as a, I like to tell for everybody that is the second time that we are recording this because the first time didn't go well, but finally we, we made it. So we it's made it. 
<laughs> we make it and I am pleased about that. So uh, if the people would like to contact you regarding to the the classes that you do about the, the batch flower, how they can make it or um, through your website or um, Facebook, what you can do. Yes, I mean, they can they can get in touch with me via email. That's probably the best the best thing. So that's Maggie uh, CTS27 at gmail.com. Great. And, uh, I think you've got my phone number as well. Yes. If anybody did want to speak rather than an mm. email. Wonderful. Yes. So okay. thank you. Thank you so much for today. Yes. Thank you for having me. Yes, thank you. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye bye.